So today I'm going to be speaking about batteries, primarily motorcycle batteries, but this is also applicable to car batteries. So this video is about general maintenance of these batteries and also charging them and understanding them about their life cycle, etc, etc. Why I am doing this video is because I recently received a call from a friend and he mentioned that the dealer is creating an issue with the battery warranty on his motorcycle. Now I am not going to be mentioning which brand it is uh, because the issue is still going on. Now what happened is that this gentleman, he bought this motorcycle which is under warranty. It has only been about 6 months since he bought it and he was not riding the motorcycle much. It was about a month or so, not even a month I think, about, yeah, about a month. And he got back home, he was on a trip somewhere out and he tried, he tried to crank his motorcycle and the battery is low, almost dead. The motorcycle would not crank. And when he called the dealership and he mentioned that my battery is low, I'm getting it charged somewhere, let me check in case it kind of... Uh, uh, gets back to life so he got it charged because he did not have a charger like this one which I have a fully automatic charger I'll speak about this one also soon so he got his motorcycle battery charged and then it ran fine for a few days and then he left out he went on a trip again he got back home and then he realized within about a week the battery is down again and then he called the dealership and he mentioned that looks like the battery is kind of gone bad and he needs the battery to be replaced and the dealership uh, tells him that but sir you mentioned that you did not crank the motorcycle did not run the engine for a month right so in that case the warranty is void because you cannot keep the motorcycle idle for a month and if you do that the battery would go bad <laughs> what absolute nonsense so that is when my friend gave me a call and I called the dealership and I spoke with the engineers there because as a matter of fact, I have pride in saying this. I have done enough research on batteries, their charging systems and how they work that I ended up gaining knowledge, which is sometimes more than the engineers who work at these dealerships. So I explained it to them that batteries are primarily of three types on motorcycles and cars. The most ordinary one is a lead acid battery or open lead acid battery which needs maintenance. That is where you top up distilled water. The next one is a sealed battery which is a gel based uh, battery. And the third one, the most advanced is a lithium battery, the kind of battery which you find in your cell phone or a laptop which is very lightweight battery and also requires the least amount of maintenance. Now, let us speak about the lead acid batteries. Most of us have seen these batteries, right? Where you have to open up the caps and keep checking the distilled water and top it up occasionally. Now, even these batteries, which are kind of ordinary, kind of old school batteries, even they, when they are fully charged, when they are new, they would hold charge for at least one and a half month. And after about one and a half month, say to be on safe side, at least one month. And after one month, they slightly start to self-discharge. But they do not go bad. Even if they kind of go low, after a charge, a full charge with a good uh, you know, charging system, they should get back to life. And next comes the gel-based sealed batteries like what we have on the Duke 390 and what we ha I have on the Yamaha R1. The best example would be the Ameron batteries uh, which we have here. These are much better. Better because of the reason is that you can, you don't have to keep them standing up. Uh, the gel, I mean the lead acid batteries have to be right up you can't make them sleep you can't you can't have them flat on a motorcycle because they would leak uh, the acid out but these are sealed gel based and they can be put anywhere even upside down so they are better that way because they don't leak anything out and also better in a way where they don't need any maintenance where you have to keep topping up the distilled water and also better because they hold charge much much uh, you know for a longer time 
at least for one and a half month if it's a fully charged battery and if the life of the battery is new you don't have to care about it it should hold charge unless you have a security system installed on your motorcycle so if you have a security system installed which keeps consuming battery then yes even in that case uh, if it's not a you know security system which is consuming too much power if it has a smaller basic circuitry and just one led even then the battery should hold charge for at least one month now the third one is a lithium ion battery now in india <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> in india i don't think we have manufacturers who make lithium ion batteries for cars and motorcycles but internationally there are brands like shorai there are brands uh, brands named stark power etc etc and even battery minder battery tender i believe so lithium ion batteries number one are very lightweight so if you have a motorcycle like a duke rc or a super bike where saving weight would make a difference if you are a track rider then uh, a general lead acid battery or a gel based battery would weigh a few kilograms whereas a lithium ion battery would weigh only about 100 or 150 grams so that is unbelievable weight saving so that is the difference there and also number two a lithium ion battery can hold charge for even one year yes absolutely amazing they are so if you have a lithium ion battery on your motorcycle forget it for at least six months you know you don't have to worry about charging it <sighs> all right so now what is the advantage on uh, lead acid battery uh, compared to a uh, lithium ion battery now a lead acid battery or a gel based battery what happens is that if you by mistake uh, put your headlight on and go off to sleep you just forget about it then in that case the whole night the battery would discharge correct this kind of things have happened to us on cars many times we leave the cabin light on or something like that so on a lead acid or a gel based battery a sealed battery in case the battery goes low what happens is that even if it goes to as low as just five percent after that if you charge it with a good charging system it would get back to life but a lithium ion battery if it goes below a point i don't know exactly the percentage point but if you leave the headlight on and forget it and if the battery discharges completely in that case you will not be able to charge it back and bring it back to life so you end up losing a battery and also the lithium ion batteries are slightly on the higher side when it comes to price for example uh, Amaron uh, gel based battery which I have on the Yamaha R1 which is a 9 ampere hour battery that one costs about 1800 or 1900 rupees in India whereas a Shorai or a Stark Power lithium ion battery would cost in America itself is about what 100 odd dollars 150 dollars so in India it would be 10,000 odd rupees or well over that so there is a price factor now let us understand that uh, why do we need to charge these batteries as i mentioned that what i do is as you know i don't ride my motorcycles very often i keep switching i keep riding different kind of motorcycles so i follow a thing where i mentioned that every one month i charge uh, the motorcycle and motorcycle battery and leave it so this is the charger that i have that is known as battery minder it is a fully automatic charger you just plug it in and leave it you can leave it like that for the rest of your life and it will keep maintaining the battery so now there are a few things to understand here number one what is battery life now battery life basically for a lead acid battery or a sealed battery like this would be about three years you know so first two years would be the strongest age of the battery and after that uh, the next two years would be the kind of the mid mid cycle mid age and last year uh, the fifth year they can go up to five years basically and would be the last stage where you have to kind of be ready have your cash ready and have another battery ready to replace it so this is the case but in general it's about three years the lead acid battery or the sealed battery 
but a lithium ion battery can last for about seven years yes you don't have to worry about replacing a lithium ion battery for seven years so the extra price that you pay for it is absolutely worth it because uh, if you have a this kind of a battery the sealed or a lead acid you would have to buy about two or three batteries in seven years whereas lithium ion battery you'll just be buying one and now how to check in case your battery is healthy or not sometimes just like any other product even if a battery is new it can have manufacturing defects and it can go bad all right so what the dealership mentioned was absolute nonsense that is in case you don't charge your battery uh, or if you don't run the engine for a month the battery would go dead and it would go bad no if anyone tells this to you tell them what i have said and show this video or ask them to contact me you know i will explain them what how to understand batteries so how to check in case your battery is healthy or not now first of all we all need to have one thing at home that is a digital multimeter i have it inside i you know you would understand what a digital multimeter is right you can buy it for even 200 rupees and it would show the voltage so now buy that and in case your motorcycle battery you feel that the motorcycle did not crank or is kind of cranking slow if you feel the battery is low in that case get the digital multimeter out put it here and check what is the voltage that is showing a 12 volt battery does not mean that the voltage should show only 12 no it should always show about 12.5 it is show if it is showing below 12.5 it is it means that the battery is low ideally it should show about 13.1 or above 13 and a fully charged very healthy battery will at least show 13.5 and sometimes even 14 volts so remember if it's lesser than 12.5 volts your battery is low and it needs a charge so charge it buy a battery charger this one is from america this costs about 55 dollars in america and you i think you get them in india also these days they are imported on amazon i will check and let you know if there are any links available to buy them so these things are absolutely worth it don't buy cheap chargers by the way you know it's better to spend about four or five thousand rupees on a good automatic charger than buy a cheap charger for 500 rupees and end up burning your motorcycle battery and also the circuitry inside so charge your motorcycle battery with one of these chargers leave there leave it there for a few hours and once you see the indication on your charger that it's fully charged disconnect it and put the multimeter again and if you do not see at least 13.1 or 13.5 basically a motorcycle battery or a car battery should be always checked under load now right now the motorcycle is i mean kind of turned off right now if i put a digital multimeter here and if i see 13.5 don't feel happy because put the key inside turn the ignition on put the headlights on or any other lights on and then see what is the voltage it is showing if it is still holding at about 13 volts then your battery is good or if earlier it was showing 13.1 or whatever about 13 and the moment you turn on the ignition and the voltage drops all the way down to 12 or 11.5 it means your battery is charging but it is not able to hold the charge on hold the load so a battery does three things it has to do three things one is charge next hold the charge under load and hold it for a long time so just because the battery is charging it doesn't mean anything it has still has to hold the charge and supply the load and also hold the charge for a longer period that is at least one or one and a half month so do do this test and check uh, do the same test after about a week or so without charging the motorcycle battery and if the battery's voltage is dropping that means the battery is gone bad and if it is within two years and if you have the warranty go and claim the warranty and if it is over two years or three years then it can be kind of the end of the life cycle of the battery if it is a lead acid or a gel based battery and the same thing is applicable to lithium ion batteries also that is the testing you know the way of testing but a lithium ion battery would last much longer 
so that is it friends you know uh, i can speak about batteries for the rest of my life i love batteries and if you have any questions let me know and if you have any suggestions do type down in the comments i do have another old older video which i made well over 2 years ago known as motorcycle battery charging system explained which uh, is kind of doing really well worldwide and thankfully i have received a lot of appreciations on it and that is it good day bye bye